Yo, what's snapping zombies? You're watching Nacho Slacker, and welcome back to another episode of the Budget OBS series, aka the Big Blue Beater. And today, we got an episode all about exhaust. This video is over a course of quite a while, but it's, it's gonna be a lot longer than usual. I usually like to keep them pretty short, but this one's gonna be longer. So, if you wanna fast forward through this and see what the different variations of exhaust notes are, you can. I'll put the timestamp on on that in the description if you want to see all the stuff that I did what I went through the process and everything just keep watching all the way through you'll get a lot of valuable information out of this uh, I'm sure some people are gonna be able to use it but definitely the people that want to know what different exhaust notes sound like and how you can get to those exhaust notes there's also some stuff at the very end of the video that you're gonna see that I haven't actually showed you the process of yet but there's gonna be videos coming soon on that keep in mind like I said, this is a long one, but just be patient, watch through, hopefully you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get to the point. I'm doing a little bit more rust converting and undercoating, so having it up on some ramps, like I do now, kind of made me think, you know, I'm getting ready to go to North Carolina on vacation, and I've been really thinking about cutting the cat off and going straight pipe. So since I've been thinking about doing it anyways, I mean, the worst case scenario is I buy a pipe. I just don't, you know, I don't know. Cause my, my Y pipe is kind of messed up. So it leaks where the donut is that connects to the uh, exhaust manifold. So I'm like, man, this thing's a piece of crap anyway. So I mean, why not just cut it off? Yeah, but I don't have a straight pipe yet. I don't have a pipe to, to weld in there to keep it not sounding obnoxious and crazy as hell. But I figured, you know, why not? Let's just cut it off. See what it sounds like without the cat and without a pipe. So you're going straight Y pipe to open air right there. I'm kind of curious what it's gonna sound like. I have it already on ramps, might as well just cut it off. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, the worst thing that could happen is just really loud. I don't think anybody's gonna get pissed off in my neighborhood, so fuck it, let's do it. Right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just sprayed rust converter on it, but uh, here's my cat. It's old, beat up, it's a piece of crap. So, I'm gonna cut it right here. And then I'm gonna cut it right here. Ha! I've already measured everything to get my pipes and stuff. I don't have any O2 sensors behind it, so I'm good on my year, which is a 94. But I got an O2, yeah, right there. Okay, I'm gonna cut it off behind that O2 sensor. So, I don't know, I think I should be good at least until I get another pipe. I'm gonna change this to duals. I might put a cherry bomb on here or a glass pack. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is gonna go. And then I'm gonna get a cheap knockoff duel and show you guys what that sounds like. But until then, I'm gonna, I was gonna cut this off and then put a straight pipe right there. Just a regular pipe. No cats. I was just gonna go no cats with stock exhaust. So, until I get exhaust. But right now, I'm really like aching to cut something wide open and then just see what this sounds like. So, all the cats, or well, the one cat is cut off. It's all done. So, well, now I'm getting ready to pull it off the ramps, see what she sounds like. And then I'm gonna take a shower because this is a dirty job. Yeah, that was safe. Save all this stuff. All right, well, here goes nothing. Super loud. 
today we got something. It's some information I think you guys would like on our OBSs, the big blue beater. You guys know that I cut off the cat on my Y pipe because my Y pipe was all messed up and I was thinking about getting another one. So I did some researching on the internet, found some cool info on this Walker Y pipe, which it doesn't say anywhere that it actually fits our truck or my truck the certain year of it, but supposedly it does, okay? It's just the Y pipe. It's a slip on, uh, slip fit. It doesn't come with a cat, so I can straight pipe it, which I ordered another pipe, but it still ain't here to put on there. Uh, exhaust is gonna come later, but until then, I need to plug up all these holes that are making all that noise, which if you heard the last video, it's super loud and it sounds like the truck's gonna die. But uh, here's the Y pipe right here. And it says everywhere, like I said, it doesn't fit. There's nothing that says it actually does fit, but Supposedly everyone on the internet says it does. It is a Walker 40295 Y pipe. Okay, it comes with the flanges on there, which is good because I had to repair my flange to, for the split flange. But it, you know, it still leaks anyway. So I needed a new Y pipe. I cut the cat off just to see what it would sound like. And it sounded like crap. I mean, it's really loud and obnoxious. I don't, I don't want it like that, honestly, forever. I mean, if you do, that's cool. That's why I made that video, to show you guys what it sounds like. But it does kill power, for sure, and that's all I need in this 305, because this 305 engine is just, it just guzzles gas. It doesn't, it doesn't give you enough power for what you need for a full-size truck, in my opinion. For right now, I have to deal with it. If you guys want me to swap a motor in there, I'm, I might wait until my motor completely dies. I don't know, and the funds aren't right right now for me to just go buy another motor, but I'm thinking about swapping in an LQ4 LS engine, which is a 6.0 all steel block, and it should put out a ton of power for this truck, plenty of power for this truck. And that's actually what I wanna throw in there. So if you guys wanna see some stuff like that, let me know in the comments below, like, comment, subscribe, support, support the channel, so I can maybe get some extra funds to put into this thing, because I really wanna do this, something like that, and I think it'd be awesome for you guys to see it go through the whole process. You know, I've been walking you through like every little thing that I do on this thing. So if you have a truck like this, I hope the information that I give you is useful. Like I said, until then, we're dealing with what we got. So we're gonna throw this Y pipe on, we're gonna take off the old one, see the differences, and see how bad I mutilated the other Y pipe when I went to go cut it off. I started getting frustrated and I just wanted that thing out of there so I could I destroyed it, really. Let's see what we could do here with this one. Get her in there, get her fit, take out that other Y pipe, and then see if she'll slip on here and fit and fix our problem. Because today I gotta go do something for my girlfriend. When you get up underneath here, there's the transmission, the housing. So look directly to the left. Bam, there you go. There's your flange for the Y pipe on the driver's side. And <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. There's the other flange. See how it's right there by the frame? Yeah, that's why that thing is such a pain in the butt to get off. But, for right now, we're gonna figure this stuff out. One of the bigger design flaws of our trucks. If you uh, agree with me, comment below and let me know how you feel about this. You cannot take off the Y pipe without hitting the frame. Every single time you have to loosen up the exhaust manifold to be able to wiggle that thing out. And right now, I still don't think I've loosened it enough to be able to take it out. So I'm gonna have to go back up, unless I can get it off. Go back up, loosen up some more. It's pretty close. trick for you you loosen up the exhaust manifold and it should come off there you go it's off oh that looks toasty oh yeah super toasty it's a good thing i got some more bolts and i got some more studs from whenever i replaced the other side oh yeah that's where she was leaking from Hell of a 
our job there, huh? The other flange ain't too bad. The difference here is huge. This outlet is the same size as that outlet, but these tubes here are a little bigger. You can tell, just a little bit. There's a comparison. They look to be like they're gonna fit. Got everything put on there. Good, let's tighten her up. I don't have the O2 sensor on there yet, but that's because it's stuck on the other Y pipe, so we're figuring out a way to get that off. It's all corroded on there, because I don't have one right now. I don't have a new one, at least. Probably should have got one when I got this. But, look at this. Where I cut that, it's like barely not gonna reach it. So, I mean, we're gonna have to figure out something in the meantime. It's fitting so far. Let's tighten her up. So you've heard multiple different sounds and exhaust notes that come from whatever the heck we've been doing, like bare Y pipe, bare Y pipe with a leak, uh, bare Y pipe with no uh, oxygen sensor. So finally I got an oxygen sensor, put it on there, and I finally got my straight pipe in the mail, which I'm gonna cut down. Uh, I found a junkyard exhaust that I was gonna put on there, but it didn't work out, didn't fit, it just wasn't ran the correct way. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and order me an eBay exhaust kit. It's got a glass pack on it. I mean, it's gonna be straight pipe glass pack now, as far as what we're gonna do. Also, I've had a hard time really figuring out like what adapters I'm gonna need and all this stuff because they don't really, like Walker didn't really specify what size the diameter is gonna be outside. All they said was three inch. They didn't say three inch inner or outer. So come to find out my straight pipe that I ordered is stainless steel. It's three inch outer diameter, which is perfect. It's great, exactly what they said it was gonna be, but my Walker Y pipe is also a three inch outer diameter. I know I, I should have really measured it, but I kind of trusted them because it ha it's supposed to be a slip on. So you would think that it would slip into a three inch outer diameter pipe, but nope, it's three inch outer diameter. So I had to find some connectors and adapters and I went and got me a three inch inner diameter, two three inch inner diameter, connector for an exhaust and I got two little u-bolts to bolt it on there get it secured it worked pretty well so I'm going to show you what that looks like right now I have not cut to my stainless steel pipe yet because I'm not sure exactly how long it needs to be because I have not seen these setups yet these eBay kits or nothing like that. I haven't seen them in person. I don't know what the measure measurements are going to be. I also don't have an intermediate pipe because I'm going straight pipe. So things are going to vary and I'm not going to cut it yet. I just wanted to put it on there, see if it all fit, see if the connectors actually worked. And maybe I'll start it and show you guys what it sounds like just to have one straight pipe that goes back. Uh, the straight pipe I got is about four feet long, so it doesn't go all the way back to the back of the truck. But I do want to show you how I mounted it and where I put my hanger because I only put one hanger on there right now. I have a three inch hanger and it's made by Nixon, I think. But uh, it's bendable, you know, it's pliable. I basically took some spare, I think, I believe they're number eight, sheet metal screws, and I ran some sheet metal screws into it with some finish washer on there. It's just a quick fix, just something to get it hung up until we get everything put together. And I'll show you what that looks like then. So let's check it out. So there's my Y pipe. That's the Walker Y pipe. Those are the two U bolts. And you can see there's a, you can barely see it. It kind of blends into the Walker pipe, but that's a three inch inner diameter, two, three inch inner diameter connector. And I had to use two U bolts to get it on there and secure it. It doesn't look like it's gonna leak. And this is my stainless steel pipe, which is awkward looking, but it was only $30. 
so that's what I got and as you can see there's a that hanger right there it's that's just so it doesn't sag and if I need to drive the truck as you can see you know it's it's definitely supported but if I need to drive the truck it's not gonna rattle around so what I did was this piece right here is a sheet metal piece it's a heat guard basically that's welded on to the cab and I have plenty of room in between here so what I did was I ran I just put three in there for right now but there's sheet metal screws they're self-tapping I just ran some in there did a little bend and bam got it all hung up it's all secured I mean it's not going anywhere so just tighten those up snug them up don't super duper tighten them because you don't need to uh, as long as they're, they're nice and tight and they can't come off with you know your hands but yeah that's what it looks like so far uh, maybe I'll give it a start so as you can see it doesn't go all the way back it stops about right where the frame starts to bend to go to the bed it actually stops like right almost on the bed um, but if this is some kind of option you want to do, I mean, you could always do that. I'd put another hanger on it, though. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut it, like, right behind this hanger anyhow. Whenever I put my muffler or my exhaust system on it. I just did that for right now. Why not? Let's just go ahead and start it. See what she sounds like. sounded pretty damn good by itself if you guys like that sound and that's an option for you it's cheap it's easy to do the walker y pipe was 60 bucks i think on ebay the connector was the connector and the two u-bolt u-bolts were 13 dollars at advanced auto and the straight stainless steel pipe was 30 dollars a little over 100 bucks gets you a pretty cool exhaust note that's what you guys want to do but stay tuned Cause we are gonna put that whole exhaust system on and see how it sounds glass pack straight pipe no cats this came a lot earlier than i thought it would but it's here check it out look at that you can't really see it's not good lighting right now that baby's going in the truck tomorrow because today it's already unfortunately getting dark because it gets dark right now early as hell let's see what happens all right so i'm underneath the truck and this is the dual exhaust system. This is how it looks. I mean, it's got a little surface rust on it now because of the damn clamps, but this is how it looks. I decided to have them coming out the sides because I thought that looked a little cooler. Right there, I cut them off because one they were a little long, so I cut them off like right here on both sides, but the same. So that's that. I have them clamped where they're supposed to connect together. They can be welded later, but this is what I did on the mounts. I have a mount here that's going to the frame. It's like right behind this. Ah, I have a mount on the other side. Same thing. I got a clamp down, it's just holding it together. I got everything this way. I go around. This is where 
you guys last saw, I had that temporary little mouth over here. But uh, that was just holding this straight pipe on. So this is the glass pack right here. Of course, it's getting stuff on it since I've put it on. But I put a mount there, mounted it to the cross member. That's the, that's the actual frame, not the bed. So you can pop the bed off without you know messing up your exhaust or nothing. You want to mount this thing to the frame. Not the cab, not the bed. So, yep, I got it here. You already seen how I mounted this. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome, I think. And I've done so much back here and so much rust restoration. But yeah, that's it. That sounds super good. I love it. So there you go, that's what it sounds like. That's what all the different ones sound like. I'm gonna give you a real quick comparison side by side, and then I'll let you guys go. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Show me some love, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.